Hi, and welcome to Katie's Corner in Space. Happy Mother's Day. Today, we're gonna take a look at the five most heartbreaking moments on Outlander involving mothers. As we know, on Outlander, being a mom is a little bit more challenging than it is today. Rather, it's the actual act of childbirth, trying to deal with illness, dirty nappies, <laughs> beating your child, pretty much every aspect of motherhood was a heck of a lot more complicated. But no matter when you're a mother, there's always difficult decisions and difficult times involving being a mother. So these are some of the most heartbreaking on-screen moments for our mothers of Outlander. Now, the first one is going to have to be Claire losing faith. No, not losing faith in her future, losing her first child. She comes upon Jamie dueling with Black Jack after having run to get to him, after having been concerned, her anxiety is up to a level even higher than she's probably experienced on most days. Whatever happens to cause it, she loses that child in France. And only by the miracle of Monsieur Raymond does she survive. Once she's able to see Jamie again and tells him what happens, her heart is broken, not only by Jamie's actions, but by the loss of this child that they had so been looking forward to welcoming into their world. My next example is going to be Fergus walking out on Marsley after the birth of Henry Christian. It isn't that Marsley gave birth to a dwarf, but it's that Fergus couldn't accept it and left. Now, Marsley, of course, is going to love Henry Christian no matter what, and you can tell, but seeing her husband leave, I don't know about you, but right after giving birth, watching your husband walk out of the room because your child isn't what he wants, it just rips your heart out. Luckily, Fergus comes to his senses, and with the discussion with Claire, we find out why he acted that way. And thankfully, Marsley accepts him back when he comes to her. She's had a difficult time being a mom this pregnancy between Fergus's drinking and being knocked around at the beginning of the pregnancy. Watching Fergus leave, that had to be nearly as difficult as the labor was. My next example of heartbreaking moments for mothers is the moment that Claire left Bree to go back to Jamie. Imagine knowing now that your nearly adult child is well on her way to being able to take care of herself and you have a chance to go live out the happiness you would hope to have 20 years ago. With the acceptance of the situation by her daughter and encouragement to go and find Jamie, she leaves knowing that there's every chance she'll never see her child again and all she has are these photographs that she's brought with her with the intention of showing Jamie, but at the same time, it's that only connection she really has to the daughter that she left behind. Watching her prepare to leave was enjoyable, but that moment when they do leave, it's one of the harder moments to watch. And again, one of the more heartbreaking moments is when Brie comes back and finds her mother, only to have to admit that she has been assaulted and is now pregnant. This is just one more piece of guilt that we now know Claire has been holding on to for years. The fact that her daughter came back to see her is of course heartwarming. To find out that if she hadn't, she never would have been assaulted is heartbreaking. And still another moment connected to that is the moment that Brie is given the decision whether she wants to keep the baby or not take a chance with the lack of medical advancement of a natural birth during this time. But I have to say, myself, knowing the difficulties I had with my children's births, would be very difficult trying to decide whether or not to take that chance or not. And so every time I watch that scene, knowing that she has to decide between taking a chance at death or living through the possibility of giving birth to a rapist child, it's a decision that even on paper, much less on screen, is complicated to even fathom. I'd like to give an honorable mention to just after Claire has Brie and the nurse notices Brie's red hair. It's odd that that moment almost made you wanna cry because it wasn't necessarily about Brie, 
but about the absence of Jamie and him not being able to see Brie. And you can tell that Claire doing her best to follow Jamie's instruction and try to make a home in the modern time, it makes it all that much more difficult having that piece of him so obviously there. His beautiful red hair. And those were definitely not all of the complicated moments discussed in the books or discussed on the screen, but they are some of the more complicated moments we did see on screen. And I did try to limit it just to things that we've been able to see and not just things that have been referred to. Now, of course, there were many other stories of strong, heartbreaking moments for mothers, whether it's Jamie's mom or Leary's life before Claire came back. We know that Marsley has had other difficult pregnancies, but these were the moments on screen that you just had to feel for the mother in question. So this Mother's Day, while you are thankful for all the things that your mom has done for you, consider also the difficulties she's had, the tears she may have had to endure, and the difficult decisions she's made just to make sure you could become the person you wanted to today. Rather, it's your biological mom or a mother figure that was in your life and helped you. Be sure to respect the fact that you're still alive and she didn't kill you when you were a child. And be sure to just give her a hug and tell her thanks. And this has been heartbreaking moments for mothers on screen in Outlander. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe below. Always feel free to comment. And if you did enjoy this video, check out that one. Until next week, bye.